Hey, what's going on YouTube? I device help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips on how to get better battery performance out of your iOS device. Now, by Apple releasing iOS 7 recently with all these new enhancements, uh, a lot of the features that are available here through iOS 7 are good, but they do drain uh, the battery rather quickly on some of the newer devices, uh, especially. So I'm going to give you give, giving you guys a walkthrough of some of the things that you can do to improve your battery life. Now, the first thing you want to go is jump into settings. Then you want to go to general and background app refresh. Now, what this does is keep your device refreshing every single application in the background. But if you don't want every single application to be refreshing in the background, you can just disable the ones that you don't use so they stop refreshing in the background, therefore improving your battery life. Now, uh, you can disable the feature uh, for all apps for one single click here, and that way it'll stop every single app from refreshing in the background. You might not want to do that. You might want to keep things like map, because when you're using the maps, you might want to uh, have that running in the background. So uh, back uh, uh, background app refresh is probably one of the ones that you might want to disable. All right, so the next thing you might want to disable is the iTunes automatically up uh, app updating. Now, you want to scroll down and go to... Uh, iTunes and store now you want to scroll down and go here to the app update here and you want to automatically download you want to switch these to off this will prevent the device from updating your music your apps and also any apps uh, app store updates that become available through the device without your permission because if you have a 20% battery uh, at the time and you happen to connect to Wi-Fi your device could start uh, uh, updating these apps and you might not want to do that while your device is in a low battery state. Another feature of iOS 7 is location. Now location is usually used for maps and things like that and also recommendations for wherever you're at. So if you jump into the settings application and you go to privacy right here where it says location services you want to scroll all the way down where it says uh, system services right here you find a ton of uh, services that are running in the background draining your battery and this some of these you might not even need uh, for example um, you might not uh, popular near me this will give you recommendations for apps and things like that on the app store that's one I probably would like to switch off also locate location based ad or local locate yeah, but location based ads that's another one that will give you ads on web uh, pages look depending on your location so it's constantly tracking via Safari and also the App Store your location therefore draining your battery so that's probably one you, that you want to look at and also switch off anything that you might not need the next setting I wanted to talk to you guys about is Spotlight Search. Now, Spotlight Search is the one spot where you can go to on your device and search anything on your device. But there might be some things that you never search for on your device. So if you will go into the Settings application and you go here to General and Spotlight Search, you get all the stuff that you can search with Spotlight. For example, if you don't never go uh, for voice memos on your Spotlight, you can go ahead and remove that. Also, reminders, messages, events, whatever you don't use uh, to search for spotlight or in the spotlight search you can disable it therefore the device will not be constantly tracking all that data or information on your device therefore draining not draining your battery as fast so uh, spotlight I usually just use maybe for apps if I have too many or a contact so I keep uh, mine uh, uh, spotlight search to the limit that way it helps improve my battery on iOS 7 another quick tip also if you go into settings in general accessibilities you would uh, scroll down and you will find here a reduced motion uh, option if you go here to your uh, home screen if I don't know if you guys can really see this in the video but the icons look like they're 3d like they're floating over on top of the device this uses a motion sensor inside the device itself but if you switch this uh, option here to on the, the reduced motion option there in your accessibilities settings application it reduces that or it stops that from happening therefore also preventing you from uh, preventing the device from using more of its battery and now last but not least here in control center control center make sure you have Bluetooth off make sure you have Wi-Fi off if those things are not being used at the time you can easily access them back through control center but if you're out and about you don't really need those on at all times you can go ahead and disable those as well and also right here with this airdrop you can go ahead and set that to off so your device is not constantly looking for another device to share information with so I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video on how to improve your iOS devices battery life if you did enjoy it and it helped you out somewhat please thumbs up I always do appreciate it guys when you thumbs up my video and if you have any tips of your own please leave a comment down below and share it with all you got with all the subscribers here to this channel so everybody can have a better experience with their new iOS 7 on all their iOS devices and of course like always guys if you have any questions at all leave a comment down below or contact me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus don't forget to visit idevicehelpus.blogspot.com and I will catch you guys on the next one peace